And with Ashton Ryan of First NBC Bank. And Ashton, another significant move in the community by First NBC Bank in partnering and enhancing Loyola. Ken, it's a great opportunity for us. You know we enjoy our relationships with athletics and students at every level, whether it starts at the bottom of the pier and playgrounds all the way up through uh, colleges. And it's a good opportunity for us to work with a great institution in New Orleans that's rebuilding its athletic uh, pro. Uh, 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 Departments, yeah. 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 Rebuilding the department and, and trying to get uh, more focus on helping with students and athletes both together. So I think it's a great thing, and I really uh, think it's a great opportunity for First MEC to be part of that. Those of us that have been around here all of our lives, I went to Loyola, my dad did, my son did, and bottom line is we remember Division One athletics. My uncle was on the national championship team in 1946, so we remember those days and, and what athletics can be and what it can be again. Yeah, and, and to be honest with you, whether you win a national championship or not, it's really about the fact that the student athlete really puts a major commitment into doing both pursuits, both academic as well as athletic, and I really think that makes a better person male or female. It really gives a great opportunity for them to learn discipline and learn how to deal with the vagaries of life that change and things that differ and you have to adjust. So I think sports is a great microcosm of what the world really is and I think people that involved in it learn a lot more about life skills than otherwise. So. First NBC Bank invests in athletics, invests in sports obviously because you, you understand that ultimately these are people that are leaders in our community and give back in a major way. Well, not that, they build our community. They take it forward. They're the people that we look forward to seeing them take the next generation, take the leadership position, and make our market better. We have a really good economy ever since Katrina, and we need to continue that and to grow it. And we made a lot of progress in a lot of areas that have been traditional problems for the city, and I really think it's great to be able to work with the young people that are going to take the future and make it even better. Last but not least, I'm sure when you see the recplex and the improvements that you're creating and helping to make, you can only hearken back as I do and have visions of the field house, right? I agree, and I used to come here all the time. And the big thing was whether somebody was going was gonna to fall off that ledge and uh, maybe not come back up. Whether at the college, high school, or uh, professional level, I saw games at the old field house. It was a great experience, but it wasn't the best field house in, uh, in terms of its uh, risk parameter. I'm not sure you could build one of those today. So hopefully we're going to build one that's really safe, but also really great in terms of allowing our student athletes to achieve. Yeah, I think Think about the Loyola games and the Buccaneers games, and then when the Jazz played the one year, they put a net around the court to protect them because the NBA wouldn't saw the risk. Yeah, the NBA wouldn't let them do it. Yeah. Uh, the ABA was a little bit uh, easier, a little uh, loosey goosey, let's say, and allowed to uh, amaze those big guys as fast as they move, hitting that edge of the court, and then two steps later they were off to they were <laughs> off into a four foot drop. So it's amazing. Uh, you do bring back great memories, but at the same time, you you look for the progress, and I think this is an example of progress from those days where Loyola had great great teams in several different sports and I think I think they can regain that uh, that tradition but at the same time it's really about having the students have a, something to do to make this a great experience while they learn thanks Ashton and thanks for the gift to Loyola thank you very much Kenny